So we're going to replace this floor by adding a floor that has actually some geometry into it. So let's go to our modeling tools. Let's go to our rect. We're going to create one. And actually, before doing that, I'm going to make sure I have my snapping on. So let's go again here, create the rectangle, click OK, complete. All right. Now we need to scale it up. Let's just say we want to scale it like like this. Should be enough. Maybe this one will work. Perhaps a little more. Let's check if it works. If we duplicate this one here. Are these ones overlapping? Yes. So let's go back to our transform. Let's put this one to 10. And this should work. So it's, I click Alt and duplicate. Then this one overlaps perfectly. And looks like these two are working really nice. So we can do the same here and we can duplicate them like this. Okay. Beautiful. Now we can do the same here. Okay, so it looks like this will work. Now what we need to do is to add the texture from this one. So I'm gonna go here, go to my materials. I'm gonna check where is it. And I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, so it looks like the material is rotated. No worries. We can either rotate the material or we can rotate our plane. Just like that. So it looks like this resolution is pretty much okay. So what we're going to do is to add some geometry. And we're going to do that very easily. First, we're going to add more polygons. So we're going to mesh operations, remesh, and we're going to add 5,000 triangles. This seems to be enough for now. So we're going to accept. And then we're going to our displacement here in the form, displace. And we're going to displace by a displacement map. And you can see it's working perfectly. By default, this will be more purling noise, which will be something like this. And by default, this one should be tank. So this is not what we want. What we want is to add a texture to the map. OK. And why it's working is because I have my displacement here that I just drag here from my content. All right. So now we have some geometry in our mesh and look at our triangle count seems to be quite a lot but do not worry since now we're using nanite we will be able to use it very very easily all right so it looks like this is working for me okay so what i'm gonna do now is duplicate this and fill it in in my bridge so i'm gonna accept and we're gonna pray for real not to crash all right. Please do not crash. All right. Perfect. There is one more thing we may need to do is to extrude all this area, but let's not worry about this for now. Okay. So what we're going to do, and you notice that if I drag this, you will see that it tiles perfectly. This is just brilliant. All right. So we're going to do something else. We're going to go to a rectangle and we're going to look for it where it is. OK, let's just save it here. OK, we're not, let's not care about the project uh, location. Let's just enable Nineite. And this one should be very fast because we have very few triangles um, depending on your machine it can be faster for myself I'm using a laptop so look at this now we have our nanite mesh so what we need to do is it's just very simple we need to go here and duplicate all right and we're gonna do the same here and if I'm not mistaken, I believe we could use a hundred. Let's just try with a hundred. Perfect. 
but we're gonna do the same. We're gonna leave this one down. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm just gonna duplicate this one. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just to move this one and just keep duplicating it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I can duplicate this one maybe here. All right. Seems fair enough. Now what we have here is like we can delete this. We can actually move it down or be aware that we will have like a gap. So what I'm going to do here is basically leave it here and I'm going to move it. I'm going to remove the snap and I'm going to move it like this so that the lining doesn't go through. And now if I play my game, let's just play our game here playing current camera position he can play and now you can see we have wow look at this beautiful all my bricks are in place and I actually have geometry on it very 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 cool and I can actually use this method to create different kind of planes that I can use for example I could use another material like grass and I can stack on top of it and I can easily create different variations for my, for my mesh. This is definitely a different workflow from what we had before, but it's working brilliant. So, um, remember to use this method. We use the modeling tools, then we add geometry into it, then we displace by the displacement map, and then we duplicate it to fill the gaps. And this is the way we work with Unreal Engine 5. If you like this video, give us a like, subscribe, let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to watch. And if you are looking for some help, check the links in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.